All right, so what does my training for double Eversting look like? Want the cliff notes? It's a lot of this. It's also a lot of this. Oh, and it's a lot of this. It's a lot of uphill. Okay, for those of you who haven't watched my intro video, here's a quick recap of what the hell double Eversting is. I find a very steep hill, I climb it, come down, over and over and over again, in a single non-stop activity until I accumulate the height of two Mount Everests. That's 58,000, 58 feet. Or like climbing up the Empire State Building 46 times. It'll probably take me around 50 hours and it will totally suck, but that's why I'm trying to do it because I'm middle-aged and I've gotten a little complacent with my health and with my fitness and I want to break out of that and I want to show myself that I can still do hard things. Nothing excites me like putting together a training plan with a really long timeline. I know it can look like it's just a bunch of numbers, but whenever I look at that, I, I don't know, I see the possibility of transformation, you know, Week one, my body is X. Week 33, my body is Y. I, I have the power to change my body. It's important to note that all of these workouts are done in what they call zone two. Easy, super easy. If you like numbers, uh, one way to think about it is that it's 65 to 75% of your maximum heart rate. It's a conversational pace. Another way to think about it is if you can continue to do it while you breathe through your nose. So how do you train for climbing up a very steep hill for more than two days straight? There are four workouts that I do for the aerobic aspect of this program. Monday, I'm doing 40 to 80 minutes of some kind of uphill training. That is oftentimes on the stair climber, uh, but I am also incorporating the treadmill. There are a couple treadmills at the gym that I go to that can go as high as 30%. So the main reason I'm actually doing a lot of the work in the gym is because um, it's hard to find a hill that replicates 28% incline, which is the average incline of the hill that I'll be doing the double Eversting on. So that's Monday. Wednesday, I'll be doing uh, some kind of outdoor uh, hike slash jog on, on a trail somewhere. And the goal for this is, is twofold. A, I need time on uneven footing. The hill that I'm doing the double Eversting on is in Telluride, Colorado. Uh, it's on a ski hill uh, and it's uneven. You know, it's, it's grassy, it's rocky. Um, and so I need time on uneven surfaces to help build up my balance muscles, to help build up my ankles so that they're strong. The second goal is to practice using my trekking poles. I will be using trekking poles on the double Eversting day. Uh, I've read a lot of people that talk about how important and helpful they are. Um, so I need practice using them so that they become second nature to me. So that's Monday and Wednesday. Now Saturday is the key component of the entire thing. It's the long run. If you've ever run a marathon and an ultra marathon, uh, the long run is the backbone of the, of the training program. And that's the same here. Uh, it's not technically a run. It's more like an uphill slog, but the same theory holds. It's gonna be on the stair climber or the treadmill. Just so you have some sense of scale, uh, in late December, my long run was two hours on the stair climber. Uh, by the end of the program, I will be doing uh, a single Eversting is my longest long run. Uh, so that should be somewhere around 24 hours of just straight uphill slogging. So those are the three aerobic workouts on foot. I'll also be adding in some cross training, uh, once again, at that zone two. Most likely that will be swimming because I can make it primarily an upper body workout and take some of the stress off my lower body, which will be getting pounded throughout the week, but I'll also throw in some rowing. A quick side note about this video, I'm only talking about the aerobic 
endurance training part of my program. I'm also doing a lot of strength training to build up my legs to go uphill. Uh, I'm also doing a lot of mobility and stretching to make sure that my 41 year old body is still limber enough to actually take on this load of training. So that's it. I am so excited about this training program. I'm so excited about the goal, but I'm probably equally, if not more excited about all the work that I'll have to put in in getting there, because that's really what I want to prove to myself that I can do. Not necessarily that I can do one hard thing on one day, but that I can do uh, many, many, many hard things day in, day out, and continue to move forward.